May 18, 1980, citizens of Gwangju protested against the authoritarian government led by Chun Du Hwan, who took power through a military coup and enforced martial law throughout the country. Kim Dami tells us more about the historic pro democracy movement. 39 years ago in Gwangju City, around 165 people were killed and thousands more wounded by government troops sent to quell a democratic movement against the authoritarian regime. The exact number of casualties is still unknown. Known as Gwangju Pro Democracy Movement, citizens and university students in Gwangju protested against the military government led by then President Jun, who grabbed power in a coup after the assassination of President Park Jong hee in 1979. In response to the civilians' protest, the military government deployed special forces to suppress civilians and employed brutal force, including the use of helicopter gunships, leaving hundreds dead and thousands more wounded. The former president maintained a repressive regime for seven more years until 1987, when mass protests forced him to step down. Although the movement was brutally suppressed, it became the driving force for the June democracy movement of 1987 and is now considered to have been a pivotal moment in shaping democracy in South Korea. Commemorated for its role in Korea's democracy movement, the May 18th pro-democracy movement has been designated as an official Memorial Day since 1997. Kim Dami, Arirang News.